Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, pause up top, baby, how you guys doing? This is the Mystic Leo. My name is Anna Zofia, and I'm a very, very proud Leo. Thank you for tuning into my channel. We're going to take a look at what to expect from now until the end of the year, okay? So predictions from now until the end of the year or what's gonna be happening the next three months, however you wanna put that. Whenever you see this, this is timeless, all right? But right now, for those of you who wanna know what's gonna happen from now until the end of the year, that's what we're doing, all right, guys? So please sit back, relax, get your tea, get your coffee, sit down with your girl, okay? I'm in the mood. Just FYI, I'm in a mood. So um, we're going to take a dive in here. Take what resonates, leave the stuff that doesn't. Feel free to swap the roles. You know what this is for you. I do not. Okay, use your intuition to discern what this is for you. All right, guys, I may say love and it could be your job. All right, so that's what we mean by that. Description box has everything you need to know about me. So where you can find me on other social media platforms and where you can get readings with me on cameo okay that's the only way you can get readings with me uh guys and last but not least please don't forget give it a little touch you know what i'm saying just tickle it a little bit you know that little like button don't forget to subscribe come on back and see me hit that top notification bell and it will tell you every time i'm out here again busy all right so i pre-shuffled a few cards just to cut down on time and very very interesting so for the next three months or until the end of the year, we have all tied up. So I feel like some of you um, may struggle with um, that feeling of feeling stuck, okay? But I do feel like there's a release of you being tied up or tied to something that has been like kind of feels like a like a distraction in your life or something that's been taking away a lot of your energy. Now, mind you, this could be a person, a job, an energy that you've just been feeling. So I feel like there's a big, like um, like a softness, like a weight that's being lifted off of you the next few months here, okay, over the next few months. So uh, I feel like if you were... Um, you know, in a very busy job, or let's say you're making money for yourself, you're going to be incredibly busy, like people wanting to see you people asking for your services, that kind of stuff. So hey, not bad, I'd rather be tied up doing awesome stuff like that, right, than be tied up in drama. So this doesn't feel dramatic to me at all. This actually feels very much like if there is restrictions, it's because you're making a lot of money or you're doing something that is launching you into a great uh, new direction, which brings me to the new moon of new beginnings. Okay, so brand new beginnings here. Love this for you. Um, it feels a lot like many of you, Leo, are really taking like life by the horns at this time and just going for some shit okay you ain't sitting down just watching everybody else get their flowers it's time for you to get your flowers leo again i feel this sense of like people seeing you in a different way because something energetic is shifting and this came up in, I think, your monthly reading for October, like a powerful kind of shift happening. And so we're seeing it here again for the next few months. So those of you who don't feel it specifically in October may feel it in November and December type of thing, okay? So just know that there is a big change coming for you. You're going to be tied up in great ways. And I mean, honey, sometimes we like it tied down, don't we, fam? <clears throat> that was all right anyway moving on a uh, great new beginning here for you new moon energy and I also feel like I should be telling y'all do that manifesting on that new moon baby I feel like there's a couple powerful I haven't looked there's probably some powerful new moons coming up I'm sure after I do this and I look I'll see some stuff because it always happens that way but use these next few new moons especially because we just had the eclipse and quote quote that energy just hangs out for a very long time six months to a year um use that energy to help you create and design the life that you truly want okay because trust me dreams do come true leo <laughs> dreams do come true uh you just gotta 
work at the manifestation and then do the work, right? Know what you want, be clear about it, write it down, talk about it and do the work, okay? So the next card you guys have is discernment. Uh, the frequency of discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment, yet with compassion and wisdom. So I love this. This is that spirit of not giving any fudges. Okay, I'm trying to be not so fucks you know what I mean right I'm trying to not be so like mm, like it's curse words but anyway not giving any f's okay so you you're really learning to like detach from having to have energy on everything right why does it bother you so much boo let them people win and you go win yourself this is your age you're coming in in this age leo of we can all have it, right? The more abundant your mindset is about even everybody else and not giving a shit what they're up to and just doing you, the more abundance you can create for yourself because you're not in wanting what other people have and in scarcity because you think that you can never get it, okay? So there's a powerful shift happening, happening here with this where you're coming more into balance with the self and uh, discernment, you know, detaching from that energy of like, you know, craving, right? Craving doesn't get you the things that you desire at all. It doesn't. Um, and having love and compassion for other people. This is that moment of the next few months of being able to really uh, put yourself in other people's shoes and understand where they come from, like understand their human design, so to speak, like what makes them up and why they behave the way they do. And let me tell you, as a life coach, I use this a lot. This is a powerful tool that when you get this, you no longer feel pissed off about people or feel like, you know, somebody's out to get you, you know, you, you no longer have these quote, quote stories as we call them. Um, and you know, you don't live out of that space anymore. Okay. All right. So I had to do two things. Forgot my errands. The, listen, I got no makeup today. I don't know what's up with me. I'm home. I'm working from home because we just had the hurricane. But I also had to, you know me, get my coffee, bitch. Get my coffee. I can't do it without it. I got issues. <laughs> Leave me alone. All right. All right. What else is coming up? What else is coming up? We have the sapphire. I love this. I feel like some of y'all are really treating yourself. Okay. I feel like you're really treating yourself. If you've been the type of person who normally is like, no, no, I'm not going to do that. That's too expensive. I feel like you're kind of treating yourself that way now again this card this sapphire um this is a card of being revered it's people seeing you and like oh my god will you look at leo like i never seen leo like that before it sort of feels like at the same time that you're sort of shifting and getting this discernment and kind of taking energy off you people are seeing you different right because you are in such a powerful shift here and you're kind of a little more extroverted at this time it could be because of the holidays you know what i'm saying because leo really does shine when it comes to be holiday time right so you may be shining more people are recognizing this powerful strong confidence in you um you know most people get intimidated by that and they call it ego and arrogance and all this shit y'all are just jealous i'm sorry <laughs> you know when a leo starts to show up and shine it's a different vibe right so I, I feel like you're doing that but you're doing that in such a way that your kindness shines too like you're you're graceful right now leo you're just graceful in this period people want to be you okay they want to be you. All right. Don't don't make me get some Olympic shit going here. Okay. Don't don't make me do it. All right. You're shining. Okay. People can't help it. They're like, ooh, <laughs> look at Leo. All right. But it's because there's this gentler side, 
you know, this gentler side of you coming out. And I feel also, like I said before, you, you, I feel like you're decorating yourself. I get the words decorating yourself, you know, so it's not just about showing up and feeling good anymore. It's about really decorating yourself. You're really sparkling in ways that people come to you the next few months for wisdom, right? They come to you to, um, to uh, gain clarity, right? Um, Leo, we make great friends. Like we're great friends. I heard, no way. Let's talk about this for a second. Okay. It's a little bit of drama. All right. So why did I hear this quote, quote, this lady who said she's an astrology expert. I heard her on TikTok yesterday, matter of a fact. And she said the most reliable, the most this, the most everything the deepest the blah 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 is a libra and you know i'm like listen i already know i bet you're a libra a libra rising or a libra moon because people will go off about them no 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 baby that's us that's us we're the ones that you be calling at three o'clock in the morning you're like i need to hide the body i need you to dig the hole for the body yeah that's that's leo that's us Yes, and we won't ever talk about it, will we? No, because that's what loyalty is. Yes, yes. So people are coming to you with their deep darks the next couple months. Their deep darks because they can trust you because you're loyal because you got that kind of je ne sais quoi. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Leo. All right. Anyway, I promise I'm okay. I've been living like this for a very long time and I'm all right. Okay, so pack your bags, Leo, because we got some train and we got some baggage. All right. <laughs> all right. The baggage is about releasing some of that shit that you got all bagged up there. Okay. Some of you may be hoarding a lot of stuff, noticing that you're a little bit of a pack rat. So you might be clearing and making space. The beautiful thing about making space is that when you do, you invite other things in like money, love, career changes, all this great stuff. Why am I talking like this? I don't know. Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, this is great. A lot of heavy burdens you may be releasing now with, you know, a shift in position comes a lot of responsibility. So there may be some areas of your life, Leo, where it feels like it's a bit of a burden, but it's okay because you are prepared for this kind of thing. We are our greatest when you put us under some powerful pressure we shine like a diamond shine bright like a diamond right okay cool but you are packing your bags because you are moving on from stuff not only are you moving on from heavy energies heavy people heavy situations shit that doesn't resonate for you anymore leo but some of you are literally planning to move or you're moving the next few months i'm seeing definitely a new home for somebody um some of you may go on a train for the first time, which trains are awesome. I love riding a train. I think a train is so cool. Uh, but, you know, this is a steady progress that you're making the next few months. Some of you may be moving, uh, maybe you're moving to a different state, a different country. So you're kind of baby stepping your way through this process, but definitely taking vacations um, and maybe even having new adventures, new endeavors in your life, you know, launching into something uh, that you've never done before. Okay. And this can feel a bit challenging. It's, you know, there's a lot of confusion around it. This cup here with the baggage is the seven of cups. So, you know, not everything that glitters is always gold. Keep that in mind when you're making your decisions the next few months, just because it looks good and it might smell good. Don't mean it ain't a little bit of dookie on the corner. You know what I mean, fam? I didn't found that out the hard way quite a few times. Anyway, <clears throat> the seven of pentacles is showing up here, but this is asking you to make sure whatever you're getting yourself wrapped up into, if it be work, you know, things like that, taking a fine tooth comb to things, reading the fine print, looking a little bit closer at stuff, uh, do your research, keep your eyes open and pay attention because you're in the spirit of, you know, really shining and really, um, you know, your heart space, Leo, people may want to attempt. Notice I said attempt 
Because <laughs> ain't a bitch trying nothing but my attitude if you even step, okay? Attempting to take advantage of you because you have a kind heart, all right? Also, this coupled with discernment is like not making assumptions about things. Find out the facts first. Like, I feel like somebody's going to be like, oh, did you hear that about Anna Sophia? And you're going to be like, um, okay, so talk to me talk to me. But then you hear some shit and you're like, you know what? I'm going to take whatever I heard and I'm going to look at my actual experiences with that person. And I'm going to discern whether or not that's the truth, because what I've seen is different than what I'm hearing, right? So this is really about shifting perspective into the beingness of things instead of what you hear about something because that's very important. Trust is built on what people do and most people try to build trust on what people say. People say a lot of shit, you know what I mean? They might be like, oh, Anna Sophia ain't got no man. Bitch, I choose to not have a man and... What does that, what is that to you? That's my business. Okay. You get what I'm, you get what I'm saying. I'm, I'm farting around here, but the point of the matter is, is that you're going to want to take initiatives to look, figure things out for yourself instead of listening to other people's bullshit, because people will be on some bullshit to try to confuse you, to try to set you up. Even the nicest of friends will do things to keep you in your little box so you never change for them, okay? And make it seem like they mean well. And all the while, they don't mean well and nothing, okay? So just be careful. You're going to be looking, spying, you know, going deeper into information, going deeper with yourself, Leo. Maybe you are learning something new. Maybe you're on a new topic, a new subject that's got you very interested into something. You're going to want to seek truth for yourself about whatever the situations are that are coming up, okay? So read between the lines. Be careful with information that people give you, especially about things you know that you know because people make you try to not trust your intuition okay and we're not doing that today all right we're not doing that let's take a look at some of these other cards because i got a lot for you okay this is going to be an extended ass reading <laughs> all right <laughs> <I don't, laughs> i'm having a day all right, we got the lovers. I like this. Okay, okay, okay. All right. <clears throat> so, um, we have the lovers, which is great. So, you know, we could say this is Gemini energy if we wanted to. We can make it very much like the lovers card. But the lovers card is saying that there might be some sort of intimate connection that you have here. Maybe it's dating. Maybe y'all just you know, getting touchy feely. I don't know, but there's something with a connection with this person. Okay. Now with the change card coming out, uh, but it's in reverse. I feel like there's a connection here that seems to be withstanding the test of time. Now, for some of you, Leo, I feel like you're getting closer to somebody um, who's been around you. It may not necessarily be somebody that you've had a romantic connection with, but I do feel like this is something, it's kind of like that person that's, you know, you may have flirted, you know, this kind of thing. But I feel like there's something that you're noticing here that time has not changed the way you, f you have this connection with each other or feelings for each other. Okay. So I feel like there's a bit of that coming out here. All right. Um, I see you leaving like you're finally not thinking about something that has been troubling you for a while. Maybe when it comes to relationships with the thoughts in reverse, you know, it kind of feels like you're letting go of a person or something in your life that's kind of just been maybe like nails on a chalkboard, like just bitch, will you go away already? Right. And you're like wondering, when is this going to stop? It feels like an ending to that. Okay. That energy is over. Now I do have the concern card. Let me see why this card's here. I need to know why we have the concern card here. 
I feel like somebody may start going to church again or is visiting church. Uh, some of you may make a decision to get a new car too. I'm getting new transportation. Why is this concern here? Okay, there's something you might end up going back and forth with here. It's money, okay? It's definitely money. A page of pentacles, two of pentacles. Some of you are also going back and forth about uh, school. You might be juggling a lot um, and have some concerns of around money because you're spreading yourself kind of thin the next couple of months in a few different areas. It might be because you have some goals and you're like, I'm just trying to get to these goals before the year is out. Um, but you need to remember to give yourself some rest, okay? Some of you have some great ideas that are going to be coming out here for you that are going to help you with your new beginning. There's there's a sort of like information coming through, um, a flash, if you will, of like um, inspiration mentally, okay? So I feel like writing could be a thing for you. Um, maybe even... Uh, What's it going to say? Maybe even like something that has to like somebody may want to be a police or go to go into the service or something like this. OK, but I do feel like there will be financial concerns. Some of you may juggle your money a little bit the last few months. I uh, hate saying it, but that's just going to be some of you. That's not going to be everybody because this is a general reading, which means it's not for anybody specifically. We are simply doing our very best to ask spirit guides and all the, you know, gods and the energies and the angels what's going to happen for Leos. Okay. So let's look here. See, let's look here. What do we got? That. I've got that. Let's get about four or five of these. That. And this one, I got four. Let's see. I kind of feel like maybe another one. We have the mountain major challenges to overcome. But you know what's great about the mountain is that <laughs> there's never just one mountain boo. There's always plenty of mountains. But you will end up reaching the summit where you will achieve and accomplish something. We have the lion. Time to act. Hell yeah. You're all up in your energy right now. Time to act. It's time for you to take action on some things. Um, especially since you will be feeling that kind of end of the year energy. We have the vase, the secret admirer. Uh, like I said, something's going on here between you and another person. Um, and like if it's not you in that kind of like, well, the vibe between us has never changed. Like this person is always kind of like my constant rock. I feel like they're, they're divulging. Maybe you are the energy between you two is undeniable and you're doing something about it. Now, the victory in some endeavor, I love this for you. It's a number five and it's a V and I love this. Um, so there's going to be a, a great victory for you. Now, I just had to say, has anybody seen a very, is it a very royal scandal or very English scandal, a very British scandal? I think it's a very... British scandal. Um, this woman, this is a true story. When she, <laughs> this girl was something else. I was like, damn girl. I mean, when she would deal with a guy in her, in her diary book, she put a V next to it. You know what it stood for? Her legs open. I was like, damn it. That's tricky. That's some tricky shit right there. Anyway, um, it had nothing to do with this. It just reminded me of that. All right. So anyway, <laughs> you know, my ADHD is just like, -dong 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 -dong. just say a fact. All right. So, um, you know what? I'm going to save these for later. I have three more cards that I want to talk to you about. I kind of want to do some tarot now and see what else we have. I want to get into some finer details for the next three months. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, I see a lot of opportunities that you've been waiting to happen are coming for you. Some of them feel like they're going to be lucrative with the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Four of Cups is saying, you know, you've been sitting around kind of in the same vibe for a while and you're getting, you're over it, all right? Um, 
and it's also a reminder to focus your energy outwardly instead of being stuck on something. Okay. Instead of being stuck on something, know that we, you know, like you get to work on shifting your perspective the next few months so that you can see opportunities coming to you. Okay. All right. Now, some of you have also been really confused about a connection with somebody. I have a cancer here. Um, you've been very confused about a connection with somebody, kind of waiting for somebody to I almost feel like maybe you've not been talking to this person for a while um, or something's going on here and you're kind of waiting to see how this is going to play out, if this person's going to reach out again, if they're going to... Um, if they're going to contact you. And I do see that, okay? I do see that. I see you sitting and waiting. You have the three of wands. You have the nine of swords here. Um, and I do have the king of wands, which is somebody who's deciding to man up, boss up, woman up, whatever, and uh, have a conversation with you or at least be honest with you about what they're thinking and feeling, okay? So tell me what this person's thinking and feeling about this connection. Ooh, shit. Somebody here did something. They cheated or something. Okay. Now, if you haven't heard from this person um, and you've, let's say you've been kind of holding out on somebody, I feel, I, I don't want to burst your bubble, guys, but I feel like you're hearing from this person and they're letting you know that they are talking to somebody else, okay? Um, we have Temperance, Sagittarius. We have Gemini, the Lovers. We have the Five of Swords. I feel like this person is making a decision. Um, it is for themselves and for them, I feel like it's to move on here, okay? Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a change for them. It's a change for them. I do feel like they have changed, but what's happened is their thoughts and feelings may have changed over the connection that they have with you. This is only going to be for some of you. This is a very specific type of vibe, okay? Now, let me see what I get for single people. What's coming up for the singles the next three months? Who's coming in here the next three months till the end of the year? Who's Leo meeting? Okay, I like that. Could be meeting a Scorpio. All right, so what's happening here is you have the Ace of Pentacles, Death card, and the Queen of Cups. There's a big emotional shift that's happening here. Okay, for those of you who are not dealing in relationships, not looking for them, I feel like you're being offered a big change uh, or having a big change emotionally. You'll feel more stable about your feelings if you are single and you're choosing to be single because some of you are choosing to just kind of do your own thing, do your work on yourself or create more money in your life or, um, you know, learn more, go back to school, get an education. And so you don't really want or need what might feel like an interruption to you. Okay. Now for others of you who are single, I feel like you could be meeting a Scorpio here, and this is going to change a lot of things for you emotionally where you might have been like, listen, I'm not really open to anybody. I'm just chilling ace of pentacles. I'm just doing my thing. Um, I think that the universe is offering you some stability here with somebody who's a Scorpio. Okay. Ooh, I love this. The world Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, or Leo could be one of these signs. We have Scorpio again. So really powerfully coming through and, um, the six of cups and the eight of pentacles. There is a big chance that you meet this person while you are doing some sort of work. But the beautiful part about this is that this is creating a brand new chapter in your life, uh, for many of you, um, where like you're mastering, you may, this person may hold up a mirror about things in your childhood for you that really support you and help you. Okay. There's a lot of love in this connection. This could definitely be a past life soulmate because of the six of cups. Um, and this is, this is somebody who really 
wants to do the work with this connection okay we have the sun it could be a leo at the bottom of the deck that's wonderful wonderful energy we have the sun so a very beautiful completion to the work that you're doing on yourself and on the planet okay i feel like wow we have the emperor it could be an aries to judgment oh shit this person whoever this is that you're meeting here leo if you're single in the next um till the end of the year or the next few months this is a really really super powerful connection this is like power couple type shit honestly this is a very divine it feels like we came through lifetimes to come back together type of vibe okay it feels that way for me like you really chose each other again and again it's like you're finalizing and completing this Re reawakening or awakening together vibe like you guys could maybe go to the jungle together you know and like explore the world together um it feels like this powerful sense of like you this person helps you to shine you help each other shine so they really set you up to step into your purpose in a really really beautiful way here the next couple of months okay I'm definitely seeing not only have I kind of seen like the personal glow up that you guys are going to have with you know getting different haircuts um trying new clothes um I'm seeing like a spiritual glow up. Okay. This is a real big spiritual glow up for you guys. This is a level up. Like you, everything in your life feels like it's leveling up for many of you. Okay. So <clears throat> that's what I'm seeing there. Anything about money, anything else about money? Okay. Three of pentacles. Love it. Anything else about money, please, for the next few months for my lovely Leos. Okay. Some of you are doing something good. Love this. Okay. So, um, some of you may abandon a job. Okay. You're, you're about to risk it all on yourself or some sort of venture here. I have the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Sometimes this can indicate that we're unemployed. Um, and I feel like by choice, why? Because that card says that all this opportunity is around you and you're the only one who's not capable of seeing it, right? You're outside, you're cold, you're shivering. And you're doing that next to a church. And maybe there's a reason that you don't want the help or you don't want something or you want to just go for this. You have Aquarius, you have Taurus and Libra here with the Empress card, which is telling me that you may collaborate with some people and decide to take a very big risk here. A very big risk that I feel is going to pay off with the Empress card. This is no joke risk, okay? So beautiful, beautiful. I feel like this is going to make you money. Some of you may just be like, boss, I'm done. And you open up a new business or you bet, you bet it all on yourself at this point, okay? So it feels a little bit like that. And I want to say this, if it's not you doing this at the end of the year, you are basically, some of you working till like you get into January, February, and then you're doing it. You're betting all bets are on you. Like you're betting everything on yourself at this point. Okay. So, um, that, inc that means you have an insane amount of trust or you're learning to have a sane, insane amount of trust for yourself and the people that may be coming together to help you do this. Now, maybe it's just an influence because we did have, you know, um, we did have out a, you know, we have that church, like I said, with the five of pentacles. So there could be something, you know, just maybe you get a message. I feel like you get a message maybe from church or something comes through telling you, you get to bet on yourself, right? Because this is going to pay off. Okay. I can't tell you the amount of people that I have seen and heard like through books and just reading things that said you know what dude I just bet on myself and it worked you know and this is a way that you may really fall into your purpose Leo so with that I'm gonna get the purpose cards out the life purpose deck and I'm gonna see what's up okay <laughs>
<laughs> All right, what's up? Guys, my allergies are so bad. I, I, oh my gosh, it, it is so bad. So I apologize if I sound really hella congested. I have tried everything. All right, what do we got with life purpose for Leos the next few months here, the end of the year? Study exactly what I said earlier, what the cards were saying. You might be looking into something here, reading, research, education, helping you to gain confidence and clarity about your career. So some of you may do a little bit of study here, go back to school, read some books to either help you get to where you're going when it comes to your studies or to figure out what it is you truly desire, okay? All right, babies, let's see what else. Mm, I feel like some of you are studying like some old wisdom. What do we got here? You may be looking for teachers too. I feel like some of you could look for shamans, for teachers, for guidance. Um, you know, going to people that are trustworthy to you. We have the light and love. Your purpose is to bring divine healing, light, and love to this world. So some of you may study um, some type of uh, physical healing, maybe working with the angels. So maybe you're doing Reiki or something like that. Okay, and what else? You're discovering that about yourself. Okay. And then we have travel. All right. Your life purpose involves traveling. So some of you may find that. Okay. And that was big because we had baggage and we had the train. So these, these two cards could definitely be attached to discovering that um, there's a traveler inside of you that's ready to get started. Like I said, you're betting on yourself for many of you. And we also have body work. This kind of goes along with the light and love healing, but it says your life purpose involves body work, such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. Speaking of exercise training, I've been getting this really strong too that um, some of you may develop an exercise routine. You're changing your body. Some For some of you, it's going to be very drastic in a very beautiful sort of aesthetic way, okay? I don't know if y'all getting butt implants. That ain't my business. Do you, boo? <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. Do you, honey? Okay. We have the eagle. You will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. Guys, guys, the next three months stand to be some of the best three months of this entire year for you. But you know what? I think I remember hearing that because of, is it Saturn going back station or something? Because aren't we? No, Jupiter maybe. Jupiter going station, because I think right now we're in a retrograde, but I think it goes station back in Capricorn, something like that. I can't remember right now, guys, because the ADD thing, I really do have ADHD, and I no longer take meds. Like, I go on and off meds, so, like, sometimes I just can't remember shit. But anyway, there's something about it. It was, like, twice this year where it was happening, and then it's going back into Capricorn. So it's, like, things... Are, we're going, are going to turn around for Leos, especially, I distinctly remember, the last half of the year. So all of this is really literally just clarifying and solidifying that there are a lot of good things ahead for you. Okay, Leo, let me get, something's telling me this um, sacred destiny. And then I'm going to look at what you need to surrender. Okay, guys, I'm going to close with an angel message for you. When I do these, I do like to read a lot of oracle cards, guys. I do. Okay, you have community. So uh, some of you may, I'm coming out. All right, you might find out some little thing of things about yourself and let everybody else know. All right, see a little rainbow there? Okay, do, 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 do. I love that for you. <laughs> All right, shine bright like a diamond, booze. All right, so um, there's a lot of importance in leaning on the community or even finding your tribe and becoming part of a community, and which is great because uh, it will give you an opportunity, Leo, to really hone in on your craft.
craft and stand out amongst people who appreciate what you do and allow you to shine. Because I feel, Leo, that sometimes your vibe is like, you know what, I'm here and people don't appreciate what I put out. But I feel like there's this kind of era that you're entering into where you're finding the people who do desire you to be around and do what you do best, my love, okay? And um, and they want you to thrive. I feel like you're really thriving because you've done so much work, Leo. Some of you are just working your ass off, right? Opportunity to forgive is coming up here the next three months. Maybe the forgiveness is you. Maybe it's for somebody else. It says this situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. Now, remember what I said earlier? Excuse me. Do you remember what I said earlier about um, discernment, right? And being able to like detach and see people in a different way, see them as yourself or experience them as kids or whatever, same exact message. You're going to have a huge opportunity here to um, forgive somebody or let go of something and it's going to change you in a positive way because once you stretch that rubber band, it's never really the same. You know, you can't go back to the way you were before. So things are going to shift very powerfully here for you in big, big ways. All right, my loves. So I feel pretty complete there. I think these are all the messages I have for you for the next few months up until the end of the year, guys. Thank you so much for being with me today and dealing with all my crazy shit. I really love you and I really appreciate love you, as I like to say. Um, if this did resonate for you guys, guys, please keep me doing what I'm doing. Smash, tickle it, touch it, smash, <laughs> smash. Oh Lord, Isa. Now I'm making up my own words again. Smash. It's sort of like smash and mat. I don't know. Snatch, mat. I don't know. Anyway, just touch the like button. All right, just hit it. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that top notification bell so you can find me again. All right, guys, it turns on all the notifications. Uh, so you can find me again in your feed. All right, guys, I love you. Have a wonderful next few months and I'll see you later. Bye.